And then the, things this would is, advance very quickly. Right. But there's not uh, a million Elon Musks. There's one motherfucker. Do you think about that? Or you just try to not? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think you'd necessarily want to be me. I don't think well, sure what's the worst part about you? I don't think you? people would like it that much. Well, most people wouldn't, but they can't be you. So that's like, that's like some superhero type shit. You know, you wouldn't want to be Spider-Man. Rather just sleep tight in Gotham City. I hope he's out there doing his job. It's very hard to turn it off. Yeah. What's the hardest it's part? It might sound great to t if it's turned sleep. on, but what if it doesn't turn off? Now, I showed you the isolation tank, and you've, you've never experienced that before. No. I think that could help you turn it off a little bit just for okay. the night. Yeah, just give you a little bit of sleep, a little bit of perspective. It's magnesium that you get from the water as well that makes you, makes you sleep easier because the water has Epsom salts in it. But maybe some sort of strategy for uh sacrificing your uh biological or uh, not sacrificing but enhancing your biological recovery time by figuring out a way whether it's through meditation or some other ways to shut off that that thing at night like you must have like a constant stream of ideas it's running through your head all the time you getting text messages from chicks no uh I, I'm getting text messages from from, from, from friends saying, "What the hell are you doing smoking weed? Is that bad for you? It's legal. Yeah. It's government I mean, approved. It's not. You know, uh, I'm not a regular smoker of weed. How often do you smoke it? Almost never. Mm. Uh, I mean, feel? it's it's. It, I don't actually notice any effect. Well, there you go. There was a time where I think it was Ram Dass or someone gave some Buddhist monk a bunch of acid. Okay. And he ate it, and it, it had no effect on him. I doubt that. I would say that too, but I've never meditated to the level that some of these people have, where they're constantly meditating all day. They don't have any material possessions, and all of their energy is, is spent trying to achieve a certain mindset. I would like to cynically deny that. I'd like to cynically say, they just fucking think the same way I do. They just hang out with flip-flops on and make weird noises. But maybe no. You know, I, I know a lot of people like weed, and that's fine. Uh, but I don't find that it is very good for productivity. For you? Not for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, I would imagine that for someone like you, it's not. Someone like you... It, it would be more like a cup of coffee, right? You want a yerba mate. Yeah, it's more like the opposite of a cup of coffee. What it's do you like? It's like a cup of coffee in reverse. Oh, weed is. Yeah. No, I'm saying you would like more. More like what would be beneficial to you would be like coffee. I like to get things done. I like to be useful. Um, that is one of the hardest things to do is now, to be useful. When you say you like to get things done, like yes. in terms of like what like get gives done. you satisfaction, when you complete a project, when something something that you invent comes to fruition and you see people enjoying it, that feeling. Yes, doing something useful for other people that I like doing. That's interesting, for other people. Yes. So that do you think that that is maybe the way you recognize that you have this unusual position in the culture where you can uniquely influence certain things because of this i mean you essentially have a gift right i mean huh. sure, you, you would think it was a curse but i'm sure it's been fueled by many many years of discipline and and learning but you essentially have a gift and that you have this radical sort of creativity engine when it comes to innovation and technology. It's like you're just, you're going at a very high RPMs. All the time. What is that doesn't, like? It doesn't stop. I don't know what would happen if I got into a sensory deprivation tank. I Let's try it. It's, <laughs> sounds concerning. <laughs> it's like why? running the engine with no resistance. That seems, is that what it is, though? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. How I'll much try it. I'll try it. Have you ever experimented, experimented with meditation or anything? 
Yes. What do you do? Or what have you done, rather? I mean, you just sort of sit there and be quiet and then repeat some mantra, which acts as a focal point. It does still the mind. It does still the mind. But I don't find myself drawn to it frequently. Do you think that perhaps productivity is maybe more attractive to you than enlightenment and like, or even the concept of whatever enlightenment means? Like, what are you trying to achieve when you're meditating all the time? With, with you, it seems like almost like there's a franticness to your creativity that comes out of this, this burning furnace. And for, in order for you to like calm that thing down, <laughs> you, throw, you may, might have to throw too much water on it. It's like a never-ending explosion. Like, what is it like? Like, try to explain it to a dumb person like me. What's it's going on never in the head? End, never-ending explosion. <laughs> it's just constant ideas, just bouncing around. Yes. Whew. Damn. Yeah. So when everybody leaves, it's just Elon sitting at home, brushing his teeth, just a bunch of ideas bouncing around your head. Yeah. Whew. All the time. When did you realize that that's not the case with most people? I think when I was, I don't know, five or six or something, I thought I was insane. Why did you think you were insane? Because it was clear that other people did not, would, their mind wasn't exploding with ideas all so the time. they weren't expressing it. They weren't talking about it all the time. And you realized by the time you were five or six, like, oh, they're probably not even getting this thing that I'm getting. No, it was just strange. It was like, hmm, I'm strange. <laughs> that was my conclusion. I'm strange. But did you feel diminished by it in any way? Like knowing that this is a weird thing that you really probably couldn't commiserate with, with other people? You, they, they wouldn't understand I hope, you? I hope they wouldn't find out because they might like put me away or something. You thought that? For a second, yes. When so you like, were little? Yeah, and the other put people away. What if they put me away? Like when you were little, you thought this? Yes. Wow. Like you thought this <laughs> is so radically different than the people that are around me. If they find out I got this stream coming in. Yeah. Wow. But you know, I was only like five or six, so like 